Kia ora, my name is Ruben and this is my project partner Peter. Our project focuses on the research and development of an open source autonomous speedboat platform. The autonomous control of vehicles is a rapidly growing industry, with companies like Tesla showing what is currently possible with technology. While the automotive industry is rapidly progressing in this area, the marine industry lags behind. Improving autonomous control in the marine industry is beneficial as there are many applications for it, including autonomous docking, waterway monitoring and border patrol, among others. The boat you see here is a low-cost and open-source autonomous speedboat platform that can be used for the development of autonomous control for marine vehicles. A competition has also been designed around this platform with the aim to increase interest and participation within the autonomous marine industry. The platform itself consists of a 3D printed hull that is printed in multiple sections and bonded with epoxy. These sections are sized around a standard FDM printer to allow it to be reproducible and accessible to as many people as possible. Internally, the boat has two watertight compartments, one for the powertrain assembly and one for the onboard sensors. The onboard sensors consist of a singular camera and a 2D LiDAR for computer vision, and a GPS and dual IMUs for pose estimation. The onboard processing unit can then use the sensor data to calculate the desired control output for the boat. The powertrain system consists of two BLDC motors connected to speed controllers that drive the dual jet system. To actuate steering and reversing of the system, multiple servers were used. All the powertrain electronics, as well as any onboard computers or sensors, are powered by a lithium polymer battery. The water jets were chosen here, as they reduce the risk of entanglement, allow for operation in shallow waters, and provide a design challenge for the purpose of the competition. The inlet of the jet system is optimized to reduce inlet swirl, along with cavitation on the housing by varying the length and angle of the inlet. As seen here, the impeller and the nozzle were designed in conjunction with another, through experimental testing. This was done to increase efficiency while creating a balance between thrust and jet exit velocities. Using dual jets on a catamaran allows steering to be done through a differential thrust, which is found to be useful at low speeds. At higher speeds, turning using the vectoring nozzles proved to be much more stable. Reversing is achieved with buckets on the jet system, which allows for the flow of the water to be reverted. Our initial design was this black monohull. The boat was initially used to test a single jet drive system and to determine the viability of mounting sensors to a boat of this scale. As you can see from the onboard test footage, the roll stability of this boat is low and can be improved with a catamaran hull. From the testing of the black monohull boat, the blue catamaran boat was designed. This boat improves of many of the design flaws of the monohull, such as stability, water sealing, maneuverability, and jet efficiency. To further increase interest in autonomous marine vehicles, a competition has been designed with the purpose of engaging participants in mechanical design and autonomous control. The competition is split into two challenges. These are the static and dynamic challenges. The static challenges consist of a design report that explains the design methodology of each competitor's platform and also a cost challenge aimed at keeping the cost of the competition to a minimum. The dynamic challenges consist of a drag race, sprint challenge and an endurance challenge. Each of these events are aimed at testing different attributes of the boat's performance. Thanks for watching and feel free to check out our project in the links provided in the description.